but got the first early blow. He's won the ball. Rasma and elected to start down the bottom of the board. You will see this feature in the match. He 133. Keep your guessing, switching around the board and steady start for Latvian. Now let's talk about the finals he's made previously. 96. 2018, he made the final in Dublin at the City West Hotel, a place he loves to play at. But he lost on that occasion to Max Hopp by six legs to three. 59. Fast forward a couple of years. In this very room, he made the final in the Autumn Series in 2020. 96. And he lost out to Peter Wright by eight legs to one. He was outclassed that day. If he is to find the win against the world number two right now. 57. For me, he's going to have to add at least five on his average. Yeah, well, Gerwin Price rarely gets it wrong at the back end of an event. 121. And like I said, he's rode his luck. He was convincing in the quarterfinals against Dirk van Dijvenbode. His biggest test of the day. 100. The side was a real high quality affair with Ted Evitz in the ball final. Both averaged over a ton. But otherwise, it's been pretty plain sailing. There's been a buy in there as well. Darren Price, the number one seed. And we didn't have the full complement of players. We had a buy through the first round. I was just going to ask you about that, actually, because does that mean that Price has maybe got a bit more energy coming into this 65. final? 65. played one less match? He's going to feel the fresher in terms of playing less legs. Well, I don't know if it's less legs, less matches, but I mean, he's experienced the back end of the events. 105. Gerwin Price, he's been a umpteen times in comparison to Madders Rasma. And Rasma, like you said, was outplayed in his previous final against Peter Wright. So the early exchange is important for him here. He needs something to work with. 62. He could face having his throw broken in the opening leg here. Double 12 will be that Game very shot. thing. So he gets the start that he craved. And I have to say, we saw Price in round two on this streaming board where he beat Connor Scott by six legs to three. It wasn't a good game. Price was very deflated 97. during that nine leg contest. And he was looking at his hand a couple of times, but maybe coming into this room and then back to the outside boards where he, I think at the time he was more comfortable. That game with Everts that you mentioned, I think that game has given him the confidence to shoot forward today. And of course, I'm not going to say a slice of luck. He's had a full cake of luck. 97. Yeah. And the match starts just kept coming and coming for Rob Cross and kept going and going. You can't forget as well that Gerwin missed some himself. He missed yeah. three clean darts from 36, and then he eventually takes it on his fifth match dart. It wasn't so much a win, it was just, well, it's over. 123. <coughs> but you don't feel Gerwin Price will pass up this opportunity. Start the match a firm favourite, and I think this is relaxed as he'll feel. He'd have felt edgy in that last semi-final because Rob Cross 134. was untouchable for the, the, that, well, the first half, at least, that match, and then he just wilted. And he got edgy, and Gerwin Price had touch, but he started brightly here. And Madders Rasma knows that already it's early in a final, but you're a breakdown. 58. And he's about to go 2 0 down. And he knows from the previous final when he didn't get to grips things Game early shot. against Peter Wright. Peter Wright raced out a comfortable winner, and he'll be going through his mind now, Paul, won't it? It will, unfortunately, because he hasn't got over the line yet, whereas Gerwin Price has got across the line in players' championships 11 times. It's already a Hall of Fame career, and he's not even close to the halfway point of that career. 115. He's also banked six European Tour victories, seven TV titles, including that World Championship, of course, behind closed 140. doors. 140. In 2020. So that adds up to 24, and if he does get his 25th today, he'll be able to do what 96. Gary Anderson couldn't do last week in him trying to bank his 25th players championship 25 has been an unlucky number seven weeks ago get him in price 134 that's not the case for him on a day where he's averaged seven more than his opponent coming into this final as well paul there's a little subplot that he could return 56 to the world number one spot if he wins here and wins again tomorrow he would overhaul peter wright and be back at the number one spot 
A little stutter from Gerwin Price. I think there was a little spin of his dart in the finger there, and he wasn't 100% comfortable. Well, he, he, don't he don't see him spin it. it. He brings it back, and it doesn't spin. So when it did, he had the presence of mind to stop. Well, he did the right thing then. So 64. As a player, Paul, we know we've all done it. We throw a dart when it's not gripped properly, and Nathan Aspel, one of the best for re-gripping. Gerwin Price. 88. I'm just laying at the shot. This is just all too comfortable so far for the world number two. And it's going to be a double break. And already you fear for Madders Rasma. 92. Looks a bit deflated in leg three. Game shot. And he's 3-0 down. No big celebrations from the Iceman. All he wants to do is win and bank another £12,000. Yeah. Yeah, just double checking who's throwing first. Do you know what, Mark? I think that's really smart of Price as well because if you're not sure, that referee is there for you to ask. You see people now and again going to the board specula speculatively, thinking, "Is it me? I'll just throw." Oh, it's not me. And then you have to withdraw and you go to the back of the cubicle with your tail between your legs. Ninety-one. But that showed a bit of experience there from Price. Well, he's, all his experience is counting here. There's almost twenty points difference in the averages. But a couple of breaks, that's what the important factor here. If Madders Rasmus was 3 0 down and it was he was against the darts, he'd feel a little bit more relaxed. I know it sounds strange, but he'll constantly feel the pressure now. And the longer it goes on and he hasn't got a leg, 59. he'll be worrying about losing to Neil. And it's a tough feeling, but it does go through your mind when you can't work your way into a tie. You look at the stress levels on the faces of these players. Price is playing like there's no pressure on him whatsoever. And I've got a really interesting question to ask you because ordinarily, 171. I would say, as we say a 177 from Rasma, I would say that all the pressure's on Price coming at this game. He's the one that's expected to win. Rasma is the one who can have the free roll. However, oh that's 94 has removed all of that pressure. Now, he's thinking to himself, I shouldn't even be here, so I can just relax and play for an extra 4,000 quid. 100. Yeah, I, I don't generally agree with that saying anyway, that um, Madders wouldn't be under pressure anyway, because he doesn't get to a final often, so when you get there, you want to take your chance, and he'll feel the pressure. Ooh. Game he'll be shot. feeling it more now. 4-0 at Gerwin Price, and Paul, y you make a good point. He looks as relaxed as we've seen him all day. We've only seen, this is the fourth time we've seen him on the stream, but it's all going to plan for Gerwin Price. And a couple of comfortable victories, including a 6 1 victory over Gate Nenches. But this is a controlled performance as we've seen from Gerwin Price. 83. That's so true. The average just a shade over 101. And his opponent, who going into the semi finals, was averaging 134. 88. He did put in a very good performance against Kevin Dutz in the semi-finals. He did control that 140. Game. This is the exact opposite of that. He's being controlled. Got to go back down south here on 228. 58. Oh, Rasma just needs a comfortable leg. Just to help him relax a little bit because he's probably thinking already his race is run. 140. And that sounds harsh, but he will be thinking that. Well, one thing on Gerwin Price's mind right now is, I want to beat this guy to nil. That's his motivation. He doesn't just want to win. To stay focused and stay on this trajectory of adrenaline in this quiet room, his motivation is to win to nil. For another big out, he needs double 12. 114. <laughs> he fancied that. It was a well-thrown dart. He knew when that dart left his hand, it was... In the vicinity of double 12, it's just the wrong side of the wire. But Rasmer, well, he's, he's triple 19. Double 19. Great Game dart shot. from Madders, Rasmer. Fair play. Puts his hand up in acknowledgement, but credit to him. He's been facing an absolute barrage of pressure. To dig that out after deviating into the five, good holder throw from the Latvian. 140. Really like that to bring a smile to Price's face, to take him out of his little zone. But that motivation of winning to nil is gone. And you have to re-motivate yourself to a something new 99. Now. Whether that's winning 8-1 or 8-2, whatever it is, you don't care. But he doesn't want to be embroiled in the kind of final 134 with Damon Hetter last year when he 
was massively down. I think he might have been 6-2 down. And he ended up winning 8-7 with one of the greatest comebacks we will ever see. It was a ridiculous standard. This is a lot more 139. than Price playing someone who was over 80 places above in the averages for the day before playing in this last two match. Yeah. That is showing. 98. Often averages are just a guy, but they're quite... The evidence is there. The gulf between these two. Get him in price. Opt in. 60. Try and leave double 12 again. He did. And this time, he was inside the wire. Well, Rasma has a chance to make it interesting here now. It's wrong. Sorry. It wasn't 60. I don't know why. I can't remember what age. What did they? 60, 12, 16, and 64, and 12. Yeah, I left 24. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, I think they're just yeah, having a oh, conflab yeah, about what Gerwin has left. No, uh, he went for double 12 and he went inside and he left 12. Yeah, I left 12. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. That has Sorry. been confirmed by the looks of it. And that's just taken Rasma out of his zone for a second. And as you said, Mark, this is a huge shot. If he can find it, the match is back on. Yeah, it's a section of the ball he's comfortable on. Can't find the first treble and... Maybe that delay didn't help. It was a big ask anyway. 77. Gerwin Price to cross the halfway mark. Put himself three legs away from yet another title. This is awkward. Game Gets shot. It. Never easy coming down the board, but Gerwin Price pins a double three. Five, one, and in complete control. And again, just double checking. That is. That's here. Needs a couple of breaks. Paramount, he holds here first. He must. You can't let Gerwin Price get 6-1 up on you. 91. He's not like certain players who get bored. Even in finals, some players have said they get bored when they get a big lead. 83. Price is not like that. He's ruthless. I was never one to get bored in a final. <laughs> yeah, you and me both. Stressful affairs. 140. It would be nice just to be, uh, have a relaxed final, wouldn't it? And this is all what it is for Gerwin Price. Just, I wouldn't say going through the motions. One hundred and forty. Well, but he's used his experience. Just get out in front and give himself the opportunity to dominate the final. He's averaging around about one hundred and four, and based on what we've seen from Madders Rasmo, he's not going to compete with that. Based on what we've seen today, I'm from him in the past. But again, though, one hundred and twenty-one should be proud of his efforts. We're writing him off here, but it'd be some turnaround. But job well done if he does go on and lose his final. He's in the mix of the world match play. Yeah, very much 58. so. 58. You beat Richie Burnett in your one PDC title final, didn't you, in, in this country? Naughty final as well. Wasn't the best standard, but yeah. It you was could say it was a bad final because <laughs> it was one in bad 137. Nauheim. But it was a scruffy game and it was complete opposite of this. And it just cage you. You get finals like that and finals about getting the job done. If you could do it in style like Gerwin Price is doing here, great. But it is about winning... 62. And he's a serial winner and he's at it again here. 6 1. Two tens it is. Turning into double five. Yeah, Game shot. Good. 6 1. And Rasma is sensing history repeating itself because the last time he was in a final in this room, he lost by eight legs to one to the person that Gerwin Price is trying to usurp at the top of the round by the end of the weekend. Gerwin Price, I shared a taxi back with him last night and he said, if I can win the two, I'll go back to world number one. And just that mentality to come here to win them both. Points. 118. Because we've done it in the past, you probably think, I can get a couple of quarters, but the different mentality of a serial winner, Gerwin Price, comes to 100. win every time he gets on the hockey. Yeah, he wants to do everything but lose. Maybe losing is a motivating factor. 140. You don't want it. Oh, well he, was, he was visibly upset when he lost, well, down when he lost to Johnny Clayton the other night in the Premier League. He almost turned that round. He trailed 5-3. Had a dart to win it 6-5. And you could see the frustration getting to him, but he's regrouped. And many thought he may not enter these players' championships. Just based on the injury and the location, he might just want some time at home, but not to be. And so far, it's proven to be a correct decision for Gedwin Price. One and 40. Maybe. That factor of him going for the world number one spot and Peter Wright taking the weekend off 
was one of the reasons why he chose to stay. However, still a job to do. 84 away. It's a good number for Price because it involves a bullseye. A bullseye Game which shot. he takes for 7-1. Razma, seven straight against one of the best players on the planet. Talk about a mountain to climb. I don't think he's going to do it, Paul. I don't either, <laughs> but if he does get close, I'll be the 100. first person to congratulate him. Uh, but credit to him, Matt, as Razma. He's been constantly under pressure here. It's a job well done for him today. We expect him to go on to the final, but... We said it was open for someone to have a run, Paul. And mad as Rasmus took it, we've seen Kevin Doitz have a great run. 140. Well, if he does lose this one, it doesn't matter by what length. It doesn't count on the match play race. But what he has done today is put him in the 101 spot for the match play race in the qualifying list. That's above Keen Barry. That's above Bunting, Ricky Evans, Dolan and Adrian Lewis. 60. And the gap between himself and Adrian Lewis in that 16 spot, £4,000. That's the equivalent of a semi final. Decent gap. Obviously, the Euro Tour is an easy way to close that down. But that's based on your qualifying. There's still a long way to go. And this by no means guarantees his spot, but puts him in a great position. There's obviously tomorrow to play as well. Yeah, he has 47. qualified for Graz, which is big for Maras Rasma. Yeah, so he's in one of the upcoming European tours. So it's a good day's work. And he'll keep chipping away. Kevin Price not finished the job yet, but... 83. He might find himself seeded tomorrow as well. Oh, that's important as well. And the advantage of being a seed, whether you're top seed or bottom seed, you know when your first game is. 95. So the opponent, but... Maras Rasma should get a chance at 59. And he is going to... You could argue he deserves another leg here. Well, it's got to be trouble 19 double one. Well, 66. I won't be surprised. Uh, my advice 19. to you, is get rid of it because Price is not going to miss double 12. Ah, credit to him. Game shot. <laughs> kind of sarcastic cheer for Maddas Rasmus, but fair play to him. Yeah, look, on the, look at the glasses half full there, Mark, because one and forty. But that's the first brick in the wall. Get the 7-3, and anything's possible. All we've got to do is look at that semi-final between Price and Cross. That was ludicrous. Yeah, and to be fair... 96. You didn't see it happening there, because Rob Cross was playing some of the best starts we've seen today. He was dominating Gerwin Price. It looked like there was only going to be one winner. 100. Don't see that turnaround happening here, but... Gerwin Price knows. Just got to do a professional job and close out this final. This is more like it from Madman. 121. I'm lucky with the last one. So go 17s here. Then up to the 18s. 38. That's what I like to call the Aspinall route because he was the first person who made that the norm. Where you go 17s first, then the 18s on the double switches. It's just really good tactics. 100. Fancy something big is coming from Price here, though. It's usually where he makes his move. And there it 180. is. 180. Paul Nicholson, and he's going to get some darts to close out. Be a fine victory for him today. He's not been at his best, but he's done 100. enough. He's rode his luck. And for Gerwin Price to wrap up this final 3-4 double top. And to cap off a fine day's work, double 10. Just regripping. We saw that earlier on. 23. Still not over the line. Start the count of mismatched darts. This is what we did with Cross. It's two for Price. Are we going to leg number 11? Double 18 to prolong the final. Game shot. Beautifully executed. So now he only needs five more. Wow. Key there. That was a breaker throw from Adas Rasmer. And Gerwin Price, little head shake. It's never nice being up there when you mismatch stars, but Gerwin Price won't be overly concerned yet. If there's another hole and a break, then there's something for him to think about. And Maras Rasma. What he's playing with 140. right now. 140. You and I both know this, Webby. He's playing with pride. He wants to go out if he's to go out with really good quality stuff. He doesn't want to be wilting 48. and losing... 8-1, 8-2 after 
a horrible visit. He wants to have some good legs and force Price to get over the line with a good 134. Leg yeah, make Price win it. And Price has well, took the darts away from Adas Rasma despite that 1 7. 133. It's almost as good as you on the treble 19 from that world championship. You, you got the semi finals. Do you remember that? Yeah, yeah. 140. I'd never, I'd never start down there, though, but yeah, he was more of a cover shot for me, but it's just a genuine tactic for Madders Rasmus, isn't it? So again. Yeah, I was going to say, he didn't need a treble 19 there, but Price is going to get another look to win this one. 87 away. It could be the bullseye once 84. again. 84. It could even be two darts at double 18. It is going to be the ball, maybe double five, but it's going to be neither. And that is Rasmus for a third consecutive leg here. 36. A little bit of complacency is creeping in on Gerwin Price here. What's happening in front of our eyes right now? Is this a comeback coming? Double 10. Don't give him a shot, Maras. Well Game done. shot. 11 legs in. Things are changing. But that's just for a hold of throw. He's got to keep breaking him. 99. Nice one. But Gerwin Price will be given plenty to think about if Maddox can find a break here. Starting again down the bottom. He got... Oh, not on this case. He got three to start the previous leg. That's 123. okay. Gonna be so many young players watching this back home, wherever you're watching. One hundred and eighty. People are gonna be starting to do the Rasma starting on the fifty-seven, but Price looking a bit more conventional by getting that maximum. If he can find another one, ninety-eight. He'll have some breathing space. Well, you can see by the reaction, Paul, there's a little bit of panic starting to creep in. Not panic, getting a bit edgy, getting in Price, but just wants to get 96. this done now. And he's in a position to throw. Well, he's in a position to win the match again. He's missed the opportunity of the previous leg by not even giving himself a shot. And he doesn't have to go 19s this route because 60. with Rasma way back, he can go 61st if he wishes. He's decided to go 19s. Yeah. He's going to leave tops. He's going to have three darts at it. And I think this could be the end of it. Yeah, man, as Rasma has been spirited. For me. Yeah. But not working. Just a bit of an issue with the scoreboard here. Gerwin Price has got 40 left. Sorry. <laughs> what a time for the tablet to fail. Oh, uh, Price is very well versed in technology. Price trying to help out. <laughs> I've never seen anything like this in a final. <laughs> <laughs> And Maddas Raz was having a little laugh in the background. Yeah, he probably knows his race is run here. So the uh, thing is, they can't the continue to go gone. forward because uh, everything is registered on the system with the stats. I mean, 24 yeah. left. No, no, I got tops left. We know that Price has left 40 because of the score he's hit. No, no. Rasma is just waiting to hit another shot. We're yeah, yeah, one dart away but from the winner of this match. But if the tablet is frozen, the game is frozen too. Mad as Rasma. I don't know when someone needs to. I think it's just ask Gerwin Price, should we call it a draw? Yeah, there we see. And we just have to get this amended. This is where you just want someone to come in with a Sharpie. Or any sort of branded marker and a whiteboard. So we can finish this up. Now there's a scene I never thought we would look at. Two players waiting. And we have a result. 60. And then 86. Reload. Price is on tops. And Rasma is on 220. The longest delay that. between a setup shot <laughs> and a championship dart that I can ever remember. The mood has changed back in the room. It's all gone a bit focused again all of a sudden. Oh, Rasma knows he needs to apply some pressure. Two treble visit. 100. Out of the hardest, but Gerwin Price in on 40 to complete a fine day's work. Still not there, double 15, comes to this side of the board. Now then, is he just starting to wilt slightly? Maybe, still Ten. not over the line. Oh, I hate to say it, Mark. 
five match starts missed. I hope he's not going to break the record of Rob Cross in that semi-final, which was 12. Whether that's a record or not, we'll have to check. But 120 to stay in it. Unlucky. I think Price just wants to get this rid of. 41. Surely this occasion. I want to see this go inside, Paul, but this Game time short he's and the championship. No celebrations with Price. Kevin Price, but a fine day's work. He got a bye in the opening round. He got a lot of luck in the semi-final, but he gets by Maders Rasma for eight legs to four. Congratulations to Maders Rasma. He's had a great run, his third appearance in a final. Unfortunately, it's the third time he's come up short. But Gerwin Price wins again, and he's on the verge. If he wins again tomorrow, going back to world number one, and he's now chatting to Dan Dawson. 101 average, Gezi. 100 and a lot. You can, think that. you can see it on the board there. Uh, this little thing. Remember how these work? Yeah, but well, they wasn't working for a little bit. <laughs> the most vital point of the game, but yeah. Look, getting over the line there when Madders was mounting something of a fight back. Were you getting any memories of the semi final at all? Exactly that. I'm like thinking about the Rob Cross game and I'm like, 7 1 up, 6 2 down, I win. 7 1 up, can I lose? I'm like, nah. And then he's coming back. But yeah, I got lucky in the semis, but you need a little bit of luck now and again to win any tournament. And yeah, I got lucky in this one. But most of the day I played all right. Yeah, I mean, you had a great game against Ted Everts. That looked really mm. quality. It wasn't on the streaming board. I mean, how, how close was that one? Yeah, it was really close. I mean, obviously 6 5, so we couldn't get any closer. But he was playing brilliant. He was hitting some big scores. I was putting him under pressure. Then he'd take it out and the same on my legs. But yeah, I think I uh, sort of played really well on the last leg when it's needed. I've got to ask you again, the Rob Cross game, I, I'm trying to think of another game like it. It was abs Did he, You must have thought that was gone because he was playing I too I, well. I, I thought I lost 6-2. <laughs> it was you, I, was I, it? I, yeah, and then I have one more leg and I was like, oh, I, I might be able to win this one. But I didn't think I was going to win. Just every leg as it comes and see how it goes. And obviously Rob missed loads of doubles and gave me chances. But I've done that to players in the past as well. And uh, I've gone on and lost. Luckily, this time it worked out for me and I've gone on and won. Look, it has a hand for a start. It looks all right. Well, it looks quite swollen, but yeah, I mean, as you can see, sometimes I'll, I'll hit some good scores and then I'll have a couple of wild ones. It's just because I'm thinking too much about it and I know my hand, it's not 100%, but it's pain-free, but it's, it's a little bit stiff now and again. But if I can win pro tours, it's not too bad. Oh, well, it's certainly isn't. That's a 25th PDC title for you. You've reached a quarter of a century. Um, I mean, when you started, did you ever think you'd get to this sort of where you're picking them up over and over and over again? No, obviously not. I just wanted to, obviously I w wanted to win tournaments, but I never thought I'd get up as, as high as I have and, and do as well as I've done. But as time goes on, the more confident you get, then you believe that you can win anything. And every one of these I come to, uh, every Premier League, every TV event, I think I'm going to win. It's not always as easy as that, but that's the mentality I am now. But at the beginning, no, I never thought I'd be where I am. Well, look, with the hand, which you've obviously been struggling with a bit, it's still causing you a few issues. A lot of top players have given this a swerve this weekend with the location and everything else. Why have you decided to come here? Is it the fact you can win 24 grand? Well, obviously, I want to try and win some ranking points, pick up some money, and I've missed the last three ranking events. I missed the European. I missed two last times in, last time in Barnsley. I was out here last night doing an exhibition anyway, so I may as well just stay here and do it. I know... You know, I can't keep missing loads of ranking, and these are vital, especially you know, playing Premier League week in, week out, and this will give me confidence now going to next week. I know I'm not 100%, but I'm getting there, and you know, the more I can play in these, and especially winning them, then the better for me. So do you actually think that coming here this weekend, it'll help you steal a bit of a march on the likes of uh, Clayton, Peter Wright, who aren't here this weekend? 100%, because that's why they've had the march on me. For I haven't played darts, for, I haven't been able to practice for like two and a half, three weeks, really. I've just been turning up the Premier League and seeing how they go, and now I can put a little bit more practice in, come to these and, and play half decent. I played pretty well in a couple of games, but you know, against Rob Cross, I was rubbish. I thought I was rubbish in that game, but it weren't too bad. And, and the first game of the day, which was a bit edgy, that was a bit dodgy as well. But yeah, I need to come to these to keep that sharpness and to keep me, keep me on my game. Otherwise, you know, the last couple of Premier Leagues, I've been uh, way under par, but that's part and parcel of my hand as well. Well, look, Gerwin Price, the world number two. If he comes back tomorrow and, and wins, wins. World, world number one. Number one. There it is, world number one. 
Uh, 12,000 pounds on offer tomorrow. We should have the full 128 man field, so you won't get a buy if that's the case in round one. Sorry about that. That's all right. Uh, them's the breaks. An astonishing day of darts. Two nine darters, one on the live stream with Barney. Jose de Souza hitting another one. One of the most ridiculous games you'll ever see between this man and Rob Cross in the semi finals, and ultimately a 25th title for the Iceman Gerwin Price. What well. a guess.